Today, I'm gonna to share a new kind of feature that we've been working on recently at Glide. We're calling it the AI Custom Component. While Glide's pre-built component library covers a huge amount of most business needs, sometimes you need something that's a little bit more special that's not included in that design system. With the AI Custom Component, you can now build totally new UI in Glide using natural language, or by just dropping reference images in. Glide will generate a component based on this input, and you can then bind it to display and edit your data and even trigger actions and workflows. So the model that powers all of this has been heavily trained on Glide's design language and is therefore hyper-focused on building useful, responsive, and dynamic components. This basically means it's gonna take you way less time to get what it is that you want. So I'm gonna walk you through two examples in this video of building two different components with it. But first, I'm gonna show you just some of the things that you can do with this to get you inspired. Right, I'm gonna give you a quick overview in this one to give you the TLDR, but then in the next example afterwards, I'll go in much more depth. This is an app that's still in development for team planning. Users can add new projects here for consideration, and when they do, they get this slider to help them estimate the project's effort. Now, this is not a standard Glide component. I made this really quickly with the AI custom component. I started by connecting the column I wanted the slider to write to, which is the effort level, I then gave the components some initial instructions on how I wanted things to behave. And then I just iterated a few more times with it to get the component working how I want it. And this is basically the main thing that we recommend, iterating and experimenting with this in the early stages to just get a feel for things and see what's possible. You can drop in reference images, delete previous messages, add more data, actions, and then ask the AI to integrate those into your UI. So this is the basics. However, in the next example, I'm gonna walk you through all of this in much more detail with a more complex example. So in this app, when users add an item, we want to be able to show off all of that project information in a really clear way. Let's go to this one and you'll see this really beautiful information dense component that we built. This component is showing eight data points. And if I click on it here, you'll see my chat history and all of the data that it's displaying. So Let's rebuild all of this. Now, you can start just chatting right away, but what I actually like to do is start by adding my data. I find that this way I'm a little bit clearer or more intentional about what it is that I'm trying to do, and I like to think that the AI gets a little bit more context. It's also actually great to see your data there right away in the first generation as opposed to kind of the dummy data that the AI generates. Also, if you don't know exactly what it is that you want, but you know what data you need to be working with, Adding the data and just giving a rough prompt is a great starting point. You can then see what it does, and often this gives you a lot more insight and ideas as to what you want. So we're gonna ask for this. A title card with the image on top and a large name below. Show all the other key data points relevant to someone wanting to get as much information as possible. Cool, so this made something pretty similar to what we had before. And looking at this now, I know what I want to change. And so I'm just gonna ask for it. Put the status, price, effort level, owner, and due date in a small vertical compact list with icons. Okay, so I wanna remove the value, uh, and then I wanna remove these two actions, and then I'll accompany this with a prompt to explain. 
remove the value and two action buttons and put the progress bar down at the bottom. Okay, so this is getting there. Let's say, put the owner inside of a clickable token, increase all of the list items, text size slightly, and make the date human readable. And of course, we can just keep iterating from here. One tip I actually really recommend is getting yourself a really good dictation tool. What I find is that when I'm looking at the component, I know what to change or what's not right, and I just want to say that out loud. And I tend to give a ton more information if I can just dictate it than if I'm going back and forth between typing instructions and then looking and things like that. You can just speak out loud. Now, there's more that we can do here, but the final thing I wanted to show you is how the AI custom component can interact with the custom collection. So we've made a component here that works great on a detail screen as a single item. But this could also be a collection item so that your component can repeat for every single row. Here I have that same version of the component just with a placeholder image. And if I drop it into the custom collection, which is connected to my table, we now see that the component rendered for every single row. In other words, you can now also create your own custom collections. This could be useful for any kind of style that you're after, FAQs, dashboards, custom cards, and much, much more. So we think this is going to open up a whole new world in terms of the ways that you build in Glide. I personally have loved playing with it and also seeing the screenshots from our experts of components that they are planning to use in real client apps that are just highly, highly specific to that business and would have taken a very long time to develop in the traditional way. So as you experiment, please share with us what you make on social and give us your feedback. We are just getting started.